Are you ready for a challenge? What's going on, All Access Lifers? Welcome back to yet another video. Now, for those of you who are tuning into our channel for the very first time, my name is Dan. This guy over here is Brad. Hey, guys. Brad and I started this channel to showcase how technology is totally changing Brad's life and allowing him to live his life to the absolute fullest. Now, today's video, it's all about inclusion in the world of gaming. So, if you are a fan of gaming, I can guarantee you you've never seen games played like that Brad and I play games on this channel. So you should definitely consider sticking around, hitting that subscribe yeah. button, and becoming an all-access life for yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah, we have to reload! Oh we have to reload! Shoot! Yeah! I'm in there! Yeah! Uh-oh! Oh. 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 Did you get what you got? Oh! 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 In the last few years, we have advanced quite a lot. When it comes to inclusion in gaming, a lot of brands have built adaptive equipment, like Microsoft, who created the Xbox Adaptive yeah. Controller to yeah. allow gamers with physical disabilities to play games, and Logitech have created adaptive switches that work with the Xbox Adaptive Controller. And finally, the innovation that totally changed my life, eye tracking. My eye tracker sits on the base of my laptop, and through infrared technology, my eye movements are recorded. This technology has literally given me a voice. These adaptive innovations allow people like myself to finally join in on the gaming action. But, many games are not designed with an inclusion mindset. For example, I love to play The Sims, or even some racing games using my eyes, but these options don't yet exist. So here's an example of The Sims 4 option menu. As you guys can see, it has a very simple layout, and if it did work with eye tracking, all Brad would have to do is simply just look at whatever option he wanted, and he'd be able to play this game just like anybody else. I believe that gaming should be for everyone. It's time for game developers to start thinking that way. Now, a couple days ago, Brad and I came across a very special game by the name of Hyperdive. Now, the game developers actually incorporated an accessibility mode using eye tracking. So, Brad's able to fully play this game by using only his eyes. So, in this game, Brad's eyes are literally the controller. He's able to move the dot and dot's objects by simply just looking at where he wants to go. After watching many YouTubers and streamers using eye trackers, I wanted to start a challenge that would allow them to step into my world and play games the way I play, using only my eyes. We came up with this idea of making a challenge to raise awareness about inclusion in gaming. That's how the hashtag, I challenge you, was born. So bud, you want to let them know some of the rules of the challenge? <laughs> Alright, so Hyperdog, it's all about survival until the clock reaches zero. Now to complete a level, you have to dodge everything thrown your way to get to the next level. It's actually a lot harder than you guys may think, because to dodge these items, you have to use your peripheral vision, and if you look at an object by accident, then you end up hitting it, which Brad knows all too well, and then boom, you gotta try again. The highest level I reached was level 8 in just 30 minutes of gameplay, so let's see what you got. But most importantly, let's come together and send developers and the entire world a message. Gaming should be for everyone. And finally guys, make sure you share your clips, videos, and pictures using hashtag I challenge you so we know where to find them. Now I think that's about it, it's time to jump into Brad's 30 minutes of gameplay compilation. You ready uh, bud? Yeah, you up for the challenge? Yeah. So very quickly guys, I just wanted to mention that not only are you going to be witnessing how amazing inclusion is with this gameplay, but you're also going to get to see that even though Brad's non-verbal, he speaks volumes with his facial gestures and his eye movements. So as you guys watch him play, you're going to get to see a roller coaster of his emotions from getting super hyped up when he beats a level and his frustrations when he gets hit by an object. Enjoy the gameplay guys and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it since this will help us spread this challenge to the masses.
Thanks. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see if you can get to level 8. I'll access life out.